Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please forgive me for the voiceover. My neighbor is making tons of noise today. I don't know why, but... So it's been a while since I picked these bad boys up. And before I install them on the R is to clean them up and put some wheel wax on. Uh, you know, just to fight off the road debris and especially the brake dust. And the Type R makes a ton of them. Now the weather has been really cold, so I can't do anything in the garage. So I brought them inside. Now I'm gonna wipe them down with warm water again and put some wheel wax on. So I'll be right back. Okay, now that they're cleaned up and dry, I'm gonna go put some wheel wax on and wipe them off with a microfiber towel. I didn't see it, maybe I missed this. I guess I have to order this online? Yeah. Wax? <laughs> I knew it. Alright, thank you my man for looking okay. that up. Yep. As it turns out, I don't know what happened to my wheel wax. So until it gets here, I'll just use some turtle paste wax for now. I figure some wax is better than no wax. Now I'm not an expert on this, but I'm guessing wheel wax is more durable and long lasting. Let me know in the comment. So I'm gonna apply and remove the turtle paste wax on all four wheels. And then I'm gonna top them off with a ceramic spray coating from turtle wax. And when springtime comes around, these 18s will come off the stock 20s will go back on and repeat the process based on the season. Simple enough. Look what came in today. Wheel wax. And my foam gun for car washing when springtime comes around. Wash wheels and rims apply wheel guard max coat using a premium applicator pad after coating to dry for 15 minutes and wipe off with microfiber towel okay so standard stuff and it says high shine non-abrasive reduces brake dust by up to 75 percent it smells like lettuce okay well let's go work on it Okay, they're all done. Now that I put my hand on it, it feels very smooth and it glides very easily. It feels exactly like after you wax your car fresh, it has the same feel. 
Okay, let's talk about these tires for a minute. When I was picking out the tires online, I was debating on getting a 255 width or even a 265 width. But then I thought of two things, snow traction and unsprung weight. Now, skinnier tires will always give you better snow traction. That's just simply because wider tires will distribute the weight on a bigger surface area. So they don't dig into the snow as much to give traction. And number two, a 255 width tire will weigh two pounds more than a 245 width. Now I know it's not much, but considering the snow traction, which is a safety factor, I pretty much decided to stick with a 245 width. Then the last thing I had to consider was the tire circumference, or AKA the speedometer speed and the actual speed. And after some quick research, that turns out to be almost none. So I was pretty basically sold on these 245 width tires. So yeah, another thing is now once I install these, I will have more sidewall or cushion and they should ride better. And I can't wait to find out.